Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to mask. Masking in Adobe Animate is quite a bit different than what you're used to if you're coming from Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects, for example. Masking is a whole lot different and there's some tricks and techniques to it. So here, let me show you what I got. Here's, a, here's just a standard shot of a sun going over from the right side to the left side. This is not going to win any uh, design or animation awards, but that's not the point. It's a tutorial. Now, I'm going to hide that layer, and I'm going to unhide it, and here is the masked version. And you'll see here that as the sun starts to move, the stars in the sky start to slowly show up. So that is with a mask. So I'm going to delete this layer, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Step one right through to the end. Okay? Excellent. Let's go. First step here, deleting that mask layer. Now. I've got sun, stars, ground, sky, and the default background layer. And as you can see here, again, just a standard animation. The next step, if you want to do a masking, is to create a new layer. And that new layer is going to be called mask. You can call it anything you want, but I'm going to call it mask just for my own um, uh, ease of rec recall. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, guys, the other thing I want to talk to you about before I move on is masking is generally the last thing you want to do. So after you've done your animation, if you want to do a mask, I recommend doing it at the last step because it does look a little funny. Anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, now I'm left click on the mask layer and now I'm going to move my playhead out to the end, right about there. And I'm just going to click on this little animate or auto insert keyframe. So I'm just going to just make sure that there's a keyframe at the end and we are on our way. Now, the next step is I'm going to go, and again, I brought the playhead to the beginning. I'm going to left click on the rectangle tool, and we're going to create a rectangle shape mask. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle, and you'll see here that I'm drawing it in red. Now, I'm doing it in red on purpose because I really want this to stand out. And also, you won't forget about it. If it's this bright and it's on your, you'll know it's, you're working with a mask layer. Okay, so I've drawn a rectangle and here I'm gonna go click on the selection tool I'm gonna to left click on it and then I'm gonna left click on the little rectangle that I built and you're gonna see that it is 20 high so that means it has 20 pixels in height and what I want to do is I want to start it at 20 pixels and then I want to move it across the screen or to basically take up the whole screen kind of as the Sun is moving so let's say as I get out to about the end by the end of it I want it to be completely across the whole screen so I'm going to left click on it again. You're going to notice my playhead is out at the end and I'm going to adjust the height now so that it is 600 and something or whatever, as long as it covers the whole screen. Basically, there we go. It covers the whole screen. Done. Okay. Now you're going to notice here that I haven't put a tween in it yet. So basically this is not going to look right yet. So I'm going to go to the beginning. It's going to have the mask there and then it's going to go to the end and the mask is going to be completely over it. There are a few more intermediary steps. The first one is you need to put in a shape tween. I'm going to click anywhere on this uh, timeline here on the mask layer. I'm going to right click and you're going to have an option to create shape tween. Very important. Now when you see here we've got the mask slowly going over just like we said it would. We're still not quite there though guys because this is currently a regular layer and a regular animation. The next step, and this is the critical one, is you need to right click on the mask layer like that and then they have something that's just called mask. So when you left click on that you're going to see here that the stars, the layer underneath it, has now gone under the mask. It looks a lot like a clipping mask in Photoshop um, and it's a very similar concept. Now watch what happens. Actually, you know what? We're going to create a loop first. So before I do any of that fancy stuff, I'm going to go and I'm going to left click on loop. And then I'm just going to get these handles here. And I'm going to drag the loop out to about there just so you guys can see what I'm working on. So now we've created it, turned it into a mask layer. I'm now going to hit play and let's see what we got. That looks pretty good, but I mean, to be blunt, it's we can make one more adjustment. And this is not necessary, but you also have the option to go ahead and change, uh, what the heck am I doing? You can change the tweening. So now that we have the shape tween on there, if you click on the layer 
and then you click on the layer in the timeline here, you're going to see tweening. Right now, it has classic ease as the effect, the tweening effect, which is basically nothing. What I like to do is I like to do ease in and out in this instance, and then I'm just going to apply a basic cubic. So you need to double click on this. Like I can't stress that enough. If you just single click on it, it doesn't work. But if you double click, you're going to see that the effect cubic ease in and out has now been applied. So it's going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of an ease in and out effect. Let's go ahead and look at it one last time. There we go. Now it's just slowly bringing in the stars. And finally, if you're still not convinced, if you still actually, you know what? I will make another note. If you don't, if you unlock these layers are unlocked here, you'll see here that if this layer is not locked, right now it's locked and it looks correct. But if this is left unlocked, you're going to see that big red uh, or rectangle or shape going across your screen. You're like, how do I get rid of that? This is the trick. You need to lock the layer and then preview it. And then if you want to go an extra step, you can go up to the top right and click on the test movie. And this is going to show you what it looks like. That is how you mask inside Adobe Animate. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.